So, neck guards. Probably the most uncomfortable thing to try to wear starting off. So the uh, first neck guard we'll look at, uh, we have two of them, the Destroyer Mods neck guard. And so it's quite minimal uh, in all the design. It does have a reasonably thick foam on the inside that's comfortable and overall a quite minimal neck guard. Now the reason we have a couple of these is some tournaments require blade catcher. We have a lot of FG jackets which don't have blade catchers so this has that extra layer of protection to where you know it will hopefully catch the blade and stop it from impacting us hard. It does cover everything important with the plastic plate and because it's not attached to the foam it fits under jackets a little bit nicer because it's not going directly against the neck. It can move a little bit and people find this definitely the most comfortable neck guard to wear. I have talked to some people at uh, different tournaments who've used these and seen lots of other people use these. It's a pretty popular neck guard. Um, the two pieces of thread on either side, uh, no one has ever seen them break that I know of. It's probably unlikely that you'll get one that breaks easily. And if it does, you can just re-thread it. But for $40, it is quite a small product to warrant that price tag. Because um, it is just a piece of plastic on a foam neck. <laughs> the next neck guard is by PBT. We wanted something that covered uh, collarbone areas. So it's pretty easy, or at least I, it's a fear of mine to have a large overhaul that's strong that is the collarbone. And I have a pretty bony shoulders if you're a tall, thin guy like me. There's a lot of bones that stick up there. It hurts getting hit. Jackets generally do not have enough padding there. So we wanted something that covered the whole top. And we got the PBT. This is also pretty expensive. It's 60 to $70. But it does cover the whole collarbone, which is nice. And I've seen a lot of people complain about the when they raise their arm it will bring up the jacket. Now, we did fix that problem. So, in general, you'll see how this is cut. It used to go underneath the shoulder pads, so when you lifted up your arm, both of these went up, obviously being uncomfortable. So we cut it so they do not interact together. So when you raise your arm, this doesn't move. And that fixes the problem completely. Uh, it's super comfortable neck guard. It is quite large. Uh, there are two sizes for this one, senior and junior. I might be more comfortable in the junior one, honestly, but obviously measure yourself and overall it is a good neck guard for catching those hits to the side and full solid protection the whole way along as opposed to the destroyer mods just little section. I did like using this but it was actually so popular multiple people wanted to use it that I had to get a different one. So I got a hockey goalie neck guard and it fits nicely and it fits even more comfortable than the PBT I find. It covers the collarbone fully with an even stronger plate so I don't feel uh, hits there at all because obviously it's made for a hockey goalie which those things hit hard and also because it's just a hockey neck guard you can find these for a lot cheaper um, especially if you're in Canada just at a used sports store. It does bend inwards, which is nice. Uh, I find I didn't really need to cut it off, although I was prepared to cut it if need be, but they actually, they designed it well that it doesn't uh, affect my movement. The whole thing doesn't come up, so very good design uh, on their part. I actually thought it came with a hard plate inside the neck guard, but it actually didn't. And so this is where we come to the next part on how to make your own neck guards. Right here we cut it open, I put in a plate that fully covers the neck and fits well and then we sewed it back up again and that way it's a nice neck guard. Uh, this one's yeah CCM. You can probably see that the whole time. So the neck guards that we make uh, and what I have in that hockey neck guard are all based off the red dragon cuff. So a lot of people don't really see the need for the cuff, they take it off. Well. It has a good use, especially if you're wanting to make multiple neck guards for multiple people. You can cut that off and just stick it on any hockey neck guard. And with that, you get a neck guard that is reasonably small profile, protects arguably better than the Destroyer Mods $40 one, 
and is very good to use. And so we have multiple of these. This one's on a hockey neck guard. This one's on a paintball neck guard. They're just taped on. And even if you don't have easy access to neck guards, this is just a bag strap and taped or sewn on the Velcro and easily fits and protects well. And so with the red dragon cuffs being easy to find because at the moment it's kind of the best one-handed glove we have until some of those gloves start being widely produced. Most people will have these on hand. They're easy to make a lot of neck guards with 